Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to lecture 40. Uh, so we have been discussing about the restricted three body problem in that context we were working out the Langrange points and already we have worked out the Langrange points lying off the line uh, joining masses M1 and M2. Now we are looking for the Langrange points which may be lying and of course they lie uh, as we will derive there are three more Langrange points which lie along the x axis in the synodic frame. So, to work out that, so finding collinear Langrange points. So, we have the conditions already we have obtained z equal to 0 and y equal to 0, this corresponds to Points to collinear solution. So, under that condition, now we have R1 square equal to R12 square because uh, okay, uh, moreover, uh, see. Uh, Before we do this, we do little more exercise and uh, that will be better. Uh, we first look into the, before we finding the collinear Langrange points, let us also work out the coordinates of the off, off terms, of uh, Langrange points. First we find, first we find coordinates. of the of x axis Lagrange points, which is uh, still not done on the uh, normalized scale already we have done. Okay, if this is R 1, so you know that this coordinate how we are calculating this one and this one, this is y and this is x already we have worked. But in a formal way also we can get it and it will be good to look into this aspect also. So, we do it first. So, x minus of x axis. So, th this we are holding for the time being. Okay, This we are holding, not we are doing right now. So, x minus x b 1 plus y square, this will be r 1 square equal to R1 to a square. From where we are getting? We are getting from the point that R1 equal to R2 equal to R1 to for this condition. Similarly, x plus x b2 plus y square, this a square, this is a square here equal to R2 a square equal to R1 to a square. We write this as k and this write as l. From k and l, if we subtract, so we get immediately we can check that x minus x b 1 square, this will be equal to x plus x b 2 square and this implies
and from here you will see that the plus sign is of no use. So, using the minus sign we get here x plus x equal to x b 1 plus x b 2 this equal to r 1 2. So, we have here 2 x equal to r 1 2 and x equal to r 1 2 divided by 2 which is very much visible. This is very much visible because in the equilateral triangle this vertex vertex will lie here just at the half distance from this point. So, total length is r 1 2 here from this point to this point this is r 1 2. So, half of this will be r 1 2 divided by 2 and this is what we are getting this was very much visible we do not have to do all these exercise to that, but this is a formal way of working by doing this we do not do any sort of mistakes. Mm. minus sorry uh, this we have uh, already done a mistake here uh, we are looking for the x coordinate so x coordinate we are measuring from here not from this place okay so we, we correct it here we are looking for the uh, this is okay this is r12 r12 divided by 2 but we are looking for x coordinate so this is once we take here uh, one more step I will take to expand it one more step we make it x minus x b 1 minus plus sign is of no use. So, we write it this way x b 2 and uh, then this result is not applicable this is wrong. Okay, from here we get here 2 x equal to x b 1 this is plus x b 1 minus x b 2 or x equal to x b 1 minus x b 2 divided by 2. One by two times x b 1 and x b 2 we can use the relationship for the center of mass what we have used earlier this is mu 1 mu 2 uh, we have mu 1 times x b 1 equal to mu 2 times x b 2 and we are looking for x b 2. So, this will be mu 1 x b 1 we can write it like this okay. and this is 1 by 2 mu 2 minus mu 1 divided by mu 2 times x b 1. Okay, and x b 1 already we have derived earlier and also uh, let us look here again into that problem. So, x b 1 plus x b 2 equal to r 1 2 and if we place here x b 1 x b 2 we replace in terms of from this place we can replace x b 2 equal to mu 1 by mu 2 x b 1 this equal to r 1 2 and this gives us x b 1 times mu 2 plus mu 1 divided by mu 2 equal to r 1 2. So, using this result the x can be written as 1 by 2 mu 2 minus mu 1 divided by mu 2 and x b 1 from this place then becomes mu 2 divided by mu 2 plus mu 1 and times r 1 2 is equal to r 1 2. So, this implies x equal to mu 2 minus mu 1 divided by mu 2 plus mu 1 times r 1 2 divided by 2. So, 
so this is the result for the x coordinate and we have got it very systematically earlier what we did that the x coordinate will be simply because this distance is half here this distance is half so 1 by 2 and this distance is mu so 1 by 2 minus mu star we we wrote it and we got the x coordinate but here in this case we see that how we are getting this result And see this is not inconsistent, you should not consider that this is inconsistent x equal to 1 by 2 minus mu star. So, what is mu star? This is mu 2 by mu 1 plus mu 2 okay. and if you do this, so this gets uh, mu 1 plus mu 2 minus 2 mu 2 divided by mu 1 plus mu 2 times 2. So, this you get as mu 1 minus mu 2 divided by 2 times mu 1 plus mu 2. So, this is your x. So, in that case what you are doing you are not taking into account the sign here this will appear all with the sign this is the difference you can see here this is mu 1 minus mu 2 and here it is a coming mu 2 minus mu 1. So, it is just a sign problem if mu 2 is greater than mu 1 that means the masses m 1 and m 2 are there. So, if this mass is heavier than the mass m 1. Okay. So, in that case x will be positive. So, here Barry center is located in this place and what we have done we have shown this x along this direction and y s we have shown in the downward direction. We go to the next page and discuss this problem. This is m 1 or equally we have written as mu 1 or equally we have written in terms of this is 1 minus mu star this mass and this point we have taken as b and this point we have taken as m 2 or mu 2 or we can write in terms of mu star and this distance we have indicated as mu star this distance as 1 minus mu star and this whole distance as r 1 2 if on the normalized scale as 1. Okay. So, if mu 2 is heavier, so we are looking for the x coordinate of mass m. Here this is the mass m, the third mass. So, where the x coordinate will lie. Okay. So, as you can see from the previous page, if mu 2 is greater than mu 1, I am uh, marking it with this blue ring or okay. well, let us copy this on the next page x equal to mu 2 minus mu 1 divided by mu 2 plus mu 1 times r 1 2 divided by 2. So, if mu 2 is greater than mu 1, so what happens the x is greater than 0 that means the coordinate of this mass which we are writing as x y. So, in that case if m 2 is heavier. So, your Barry center will not lie here, Barry center will shift here in this place and because this is irrespective of this, this is going to lie on an equilateral triangle. Therefore, you can see that this direction we have taken as positive x direction, this is positive x direction. So, that means your x coordinate for this x is going to be greater than 0 which is you are getting here in this place. If you reverse the thing, if mu 1 is greater. So, in that case you can see that this is Barry center will be here and then this x will be negative because this is opposite to the x s direction x x s is negative here in this direction this is less than 0 negative direction of x. So, it is a consistent here what we have got this result is magnitude wise. Okay. 
while this result what we get this is sign wise also consistent. So, that is why I prefer I uh, when you have to solve certain problem where it is a very critical in the sign and other things. So, you can use this expression rather than uh, doing it by the ad hoc method. Okay, now y coordinate also uh, y coordinate is easy because as we know that this quantity is r 1 equal to r 1 2 this angle is 60 degree. So, here in this case y will be simply r 1 2 sin 60 degree means r 1 2 root 3 by 2 and in this direction from here to here y s is negative side and this is positive side for y s. So, this coordinate here y will be minus r 1 2 root 3 y 2 and on this side this will be plus r 1 2 root 3 by 2. So, that means the y coordinates are given by plus minus root 3 by 2 r 1 2 and this is just by looking at the this figure simply and working out. Otherwise, if you use this expression what we have used earlier the x plus x b 2 square plus y square plus z square this we have written as r 2 square and obviously for the uh, Langrange point z equal to 0. So, this gets reduced to x plus x b 2 square plus y square equal to r 2 square equal to r 1 2 square. And therefore, from here we can write y square equal to r 1 2 square minus x plus x b 2 square. x coordinate we know. So, we can insert here and we can solve for this. x coordinate we note in terms of r 1 2. Okay. So, therefore, y square this equal to r 1 2 square minus x is mu 2 minus mu 1 mu 2 minus mu 1 divided by mu 2 plus mu 1 r 1 2 divided by 2 and then thereafter we have uh, plus x b 2 and plus x b 2 we have to replace x b 2 also we have worked out somewhere. x b 1 we have written here x b 1 is coming in this place you can see that from this place x b 1 will be mu 2 r 1 2 divided by mu 1 plus mu 2. So, along the same line you can write x b 2 will be r 1 2 minus minus x b 1. So, you get this as mu 1 by r 1 2 divided by mu 1 plus mu 2. So, we can insert it. So, x b 2 this equal to mu 1 by r 1 2 divided by mu 1 plus mu 2. So, we if we insert this in this equation r 1 2 this is a square. So, r 1 2 a square we can take it outside and then 1 minus here we get as mu 2 minus mu 1 divided by 2 times mu 2 plus mu 1 and plus mu 1 by mu 2 plus mu 1 and this is a square.
this is not just a theoretical exercise this is for proper understanding of how we go on solving the problem in a systematic way okay. this will help you solve the problems this is 2 mu 1 divided by mu 2 plus mu 1 square and we see that this uh, and in the denominator 2 is also there so this is 2 times ok so r 1 2 a square times 1 minus 1 by 4 equal to 3 by 4 r 1 2 a square so this implies y equal to plus minus root 3 by 2 r 1 2 so this we have done using so much of computation but directly it was visual from there because it's equilateral triangle so it will come here in this format which is verified from this place thus the x y coordinates it can be written as r12 divided by 2 mu2 minus mu1 divided by So, these are the off axis axis Lagrange points. So, now I will name them on the equilateral triangle this is L 4 and this is L 5 this mass we have written as M 1 this mass as M 2. and these are the two equilibrium points where the mass m can if you put so the synodic frame it will appear to be stationary velocity in the synodic frame is 0 that is x dot y dot z dot this equal to 0. So, if you keep it here, so an observer which is sitting at the barycenter and your synodic frame is located here. So, to this observer ok p here in this case uh, we are discussing about the Langrange points. So, we need not take this part otherwise this will confuse. So, y s will now will indicate along this direction this is y s direction. So, to an observer who is sitting here in this place and rotating along with the synodic frame to him this mass m will appear to be at rest all the time. Now, we go into the uh, collinear solution.
the stationary point why we are calling because by definition the equilibrium points are the stationary points of a system. This is very uh, wide definition and what you have learnt in your physics that the once the equilibrium points are defined as EF equal to 0 and EM equal to 0 this is not correct ok, this is not correct. These are just necessary condition for equilibrium to exist necessary conditions for equilibrium to exist. So, what we will do that uh, because uh, of fresh we will be doing this problem of fresh. So, therefore, we will continue in the next lecture and we will wind up this lecture here ok. Thank you very much.